I'm so glad that I can welcome you here to the Clark Howard Show. You know, our mission is to serve you with knowledge that empowers you so you make better financial decisions in your life. And it's my favorite podcast day today because it's Clark Stinks Day. And it's also Friday. So it's time to hear where and how I have messed up and fess up to my shortcomings. And also, I talked yesterday about something negative with the healthcare industry concerning medical bills. Today, I got great news for you and where things hopefully are heading on the prescription cost front. And one insurer is doing something I find very exciting. And Grace is here to bring you Clark Stinks because uh, Krista is out this week. She will be back with us next week. So, Grace, thank you so much for filling in this week. My pleasure. For Krista. My pleasure. I hope you have enjoyed it. And, you know, one thing people don't know about you is you're fluent in five, six, seven no, languages. No, you Come always on. like to say that. I'm How fluent many? in three. But you also speak no, I, three others? So I speak right, I know, fluently. Portuguese, Spanish, and English, obviously. Uh, but I can understand some Italian. Uh, and I can and Dutch, read French. Right? No. I, no. You I always joke that I speak Arabic, but I know nothing. No, no. I so can read French. French and Italian. And I can understand uh What are the other Italian. two? You made it up. I made it up. <laughs> but it's impressive because I have enough trouble with English. I, oh, I no. Am, I am so impressed. No, and with, you guys not know, may not know, but Clark speaks really good Spanish. He does. He always says he doesn't, but you no, do. No, yes, no, you no. do. Yes, you do. No, I'm telling funny, you, you do. Because I'll say some things in, a, in, a, uh, in Spain or in Latin America. I'll say something in Spanish, and I must say it clear enough that suddenly the person responding to me thinks, you know, they, they respond yeah. rapid fire, and I'm like, it's really fun to no hear idea. us, a person speaking your native tongue. It's really fun to hear. So it's it, just like you would feel happy if you are in another side of the world and you hear somebody speaking English that you weren't expecting. So oh, it's, oh, it's great. It's all great. Right. We are so spoiled as Americans because you go all over the world and so many people speak some amount of English, particularly if they're under age 40 because of yeah. music and internet. Social and media. Video content. Yeah. Yeah. So what does this have to do with Clark Stinks? I know. Nothing. Let's stink All it right. up. Let's right. go. Let's show how much you stink. Okay. First one. Someone asked about whether they overpaid for vitamin D, and he had a concern whether it was legit. You responded that he should purchase vitamin D at Costco. However, you have the worst advice ever. This gentleman needs to get vitamin D from the original source. 15 minutes in the sun, allowing it to hit his skin will provide all the vitamin D he needs. And guess what? It's free. Joy. Joy, thank you for that. So I'm out in the sun uh, probably more than a dermatologist would like. And I have a significant vitamin D deficiency that shows up when I have my physical at my doctor and the testing. So I have to take a vitamin D supplement. Some of us, for whatever reason, um, do spend a lot of time outdoors and still have a vitamin D deficiency. But yes, you're right. For most people, it means you need to Get away from the computer, get away from your phone, get away from the TV, and get outside and enjoy the world. You don't stink, but your advice on the gentleman's wondering uh, about low-cost vi low cost vitamins left out an important option. The gentleman mentioned his vitamin D supplement was on doctor's orders. My daughter also was advised to take vitamin D for her um, from her pediatrician and we get her supplements via prescription. Her monthly vitamin D gummies cost us a few dollars a month. If a doctor orders vitamin D supplement, always check to see if you can get a reduced price via your health insurance and doctor's prescription. Kelly. Kelly, thank you. So we got uh, two sides yeah. of the vitamin D <laughs> right there. All right, we have one from Andrew. I know that pig butchering is not your term, but I think we could do better. Under the current term, it sounds like the victim of the scam is the pig. 
Can you and your team think of an alternative phrase? Maybe just butchering? Keep up the good work. You and your team do excellent work. Andrew, thank you very much for that. Um, uh, pig butchering is the phrase used in, in uh, law enforcement and also by the scammers. So if there's a better descriptor that is not uh, offensive like pig butchering, I will see if there's one I can use. There is one exception to the never prepare for, prepay for car rental rule. Clark's advice about reserving car rental early, then reshopping one week before pickup is generally good. I do one final check the same day or right before I board the flight to the destination where I need a car. If I find a pay now deal, then better than I reserve a car, I will take it and cancel the earlier reservation, Mark. Mark, that is uh, very sage advice is that if you're reshopping while you're in the midst of your travel, you know your flight's actually going, it's not canceling on you or whatever, yeah, you reshop the car and they're offering often a $15 a day or so cheaper rate if you prepay at that point, non-refundable, go for it and prepay for that car rental. Um, just want you to know that the car rental industry continues to have a shortage of vehicles and people are still having problems where they arrive at their destination prepaid or not and they say hey we got no cars I want to tell you something dirty that's going on in the car rental industry let's say you booked a compact car just for argument's sake and they say well we got no compact cars so uh, we got this bigger one you're gonna have to pay us an extra $25 a day for it because we didn't have what you reserved. No, no, do not allow them to cheat you like that. That happened to me recently. And I said, no, no, I want the rate I booked. And the uh, woman at the counter rolled her eyes and then gave me the larger car at the price I had already booked. Don't let them take advantage of you and rip off your wallet. You worked hard for that money. Clark, it's Amazon Web Services, not World Services. Thank you for all you do, Pete. <laughs> Pete, I'm sorry. I thought it, I thought AWS was Amazon World Services, Amazon Web. Web Services. I stand corrected. For those of you who don't know what Pete's talking about, what saved Amazon and has allowed Amazon to grow is they are the largest provider of cloud storage to industry and that's been a massive profit engine for them, not the shopping you do on Amazon. So we received a lot of on this topic. So here's one. Clark, you stink like medical waste that's been sitting out in the sun. <laughs> Again, you delve into medicine that you know nothing about. You had a patient call to complain about their bill for rabies vaccine and hemoglobin. Immunoglobin? Immunoglobin. Immunoglobin, excuse me. I am an emergency physician who routinely administers rabies post-exposure exposures prophylaxis. The immunoglobin <laughs> must be... Did I how, say it how wrong? Many more, I, I don't know. How many more... <laughs> Multiple. I know. Well, he's a physician. Medical. Okay. Um, the uh, okay. Sorry. The immunoglobin must be administered. Immunoglobin. Immunoglobin. I'm sorry. Must be administered in multiple injections around the site of the wound. Wound. It is not unusual for a patient to need eight injections, depending on their weight and size of the wound. Um, a bill, uh, a bill to the patient for forty-eight hundred seems enormous, but the cost of the medication is enormous as well as according to the CDC. Please consult somebody with medical knowledge before you start ranting about incorrect hospital charges, Derek. Derek, thank you, and all the other physicians who wrote in about this. I appreciate you, and that's why we have Clark Stinks because that sounded so outrageous to me and many of you pointed out that I don't know what I was talking about about the rabies shots long time listener first time mudslinger Ooh, I love I'm it. not sure why Clark pushes travel insurance when all other specific insurance he's against TV home etc 
If you purchase inside your credit card window, the tour operator defaults, you can get 100% your money back, regardless, to paraphrase Clark. Clark, if you can't afford to lose the money on the vacation, you can't afford to take that vacation, John. John, <laughs> I, I, I love this. <laughs> and so the trip insurance thing is such a difficult one because what's different here than like buying one of those crummy plans the appliance and electronics stores sell you and now even on tennis shoes they're trying to sell you service plans and uh, who knows what else is when you buy a tour you buy a cruise whatever there could be a number of reasons why you can't go and the money vanishes um Trip insurance is expensive. It's usually 6% more or less of the cost of the trip. And uh, I usually don't buy trip insurance even when I'm buying a trip that will be non-refundable because I do, quote unquote, self-insure. And I do walk away from the money if I have to. There are certain situations where the amount is spent far enough away from a trip and it's enough money that I do go ahead and buy the trip insurance but I'm not even sure I should even then so this is one that I'm definitely on the fence about all right Clark you stink worse than a wet dog on a hot summer day how do I know what that smells like? Because you have me in the doghouse with my wife. <laughs> we are taking the whole family into the Dominican Republic for Christmas. And my wife was set to buy airline tickets in July when they opened up. The tickets were $1,000 each. I told my wife, Clark said to wait until the 17th of August when the flights go super cheap. She agreed. Then when we were able to purchase the tickets yesterday, <laughs> it was 1600 each. Waiting until the 17th of August cost us an extra 3600 on six tickets. Where are the savings, Clark? D in Kentucky. D, keep shopping this. Okay, so let me say I just did this earlier this week about... Uh, Google's predictive analysis when the best time was to buy tickets for Thanksgiving, the best time for Christmas, New Year's, came up recently, the best time to buy tickets to Europe. So these are just predictive tools. It's not set in stone that you wait to a specific day. Um, if you miss that, the Thanksgiving tickets around the 1st of October, Christmas tickets uh, more like mid-October, tickets to Europe, about 10 weeks in advance, but these are just averages. So if you see a fare that you're happy with, you go ahead and book it. Because remember, airlines no longer, except in rare cases, charge you a fee if later a cheaper fare comes along, you get that money back as a credit, typically towards future travel. In this case, you got $1,600 now tied up, all my fault. Because that date that you heard me talk about, you took literally as an exact date where it's just an approximation. Keep shopping those tickets to the Dominican all the way up to close to when you go. Hopefully the fare will come back down. You could set a fare alert at Google Flights and it'll alert you when a better deal pops up to the Dominican at Christmas. If the fare goes down at some point, then you have that credit towards future travel. So I'm really sorry that that the date you heard me talk about, you took as an exact date to book something where it's just kind of a zone of where statistically the fares tend to be the lowest. I picked up on mal 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 old mal <laughs> malodorous. Okay. Excuse me. So what is the deal ah, today? Everybody's got to use. See, I do when best I'm with here. One, when wait, I'm here, I do best with one and two <laughs> syllable words. And we got how many? One, two, three. 
Malo Alderus. Ma- Malo Alderus. All right, let's say a bad, stinky, a bad, stinky, a bad smell. Stinky smell, yes. Uh, with from Clark's response about a neighbor street poised to topple onto the next door structure. Clark advised the next door property owner to take photos to document the tree to be diseased or dead. However, if a portion of any tree overhangs the property line, the next door neighbor is legally okay to cut the branches off uh, back just to their property line. That would prevent uh, a crashing disaster, disaster, Holland. Holland, okay. So what you're talking about is that as a tree grows up, the canopy of that tree can extend across the property line. And you are allowed to trim as needed on your side of the property line. And if I've never said that, I apologize. But that uh, doesn't go to the core of this issue, as I recall, which was a tree that was clearly diseased or dead, that that whole tree falls over. If it's a big old growth tree, it could uh, cause danger to life and limb, uh, certainly the structure of a house. And so, yes, you're completely right. And the portion that is on your property, it is your right to do the trimming necessary. There's a slight odor I smell, but I but it's not super off-putting. I have a Roth IRA and I have been contributing as much as I can for the last few years. However, with the new SAVE student loan repayment plan, if you contribute money to a traditional IRA instead, you can lo- lower your AGI and your student loan payment amount. I'm going to be using a traditional IRA until I get my loans forgiven b- via PSLF and then switch back to a Roth, Ryan. Ryan, thank you. And Ryan, thank you for your service in whatever you're doing, police officer, firefighter, teacher, uh, nonprofit, whatever it is that qualifies you for the public service loan forgiveness program. And that is an exception to the normal rule about using a traditional versus a Roth. You always want you to do Roth IRA. But if reducing your adjusted gross income is very important in a formula, and it is with student loans, and payment for them and ultimate forgiveness, you're right. Do the traditional IRA instead of the Roth. You really stink. One of my favorite things at Aldi is now always sold out. You reported how great the Aldi cinnamon buns are so good and they're your favorite. Now, the price has been increased, but that doesn't matter because they are always out of them. Clark, please keep your mouth shut. You have saved me so much money in other areas that, of course, you're forgiven. Bill from Shemong, New Jersey. Bill, I thought I wrote this about myself. Because I have not been able to find the Aldi cinnamon rolls in stock now for a couple of months. They have the place on the shelf. It shows the price. And there's no there there. So this is maybe a little bit my fault. But this became a thing with some articles from foodies about how The Aldi cinnamon rolls were like the best cinnamon rolls anywhere, and they are. I don't know what they put in them. They're incredible, but I wouldn't really know recently what they taste like because they're never available when I go into Aldi. So you are right, and Bill, I apologize. The only thing I can tell you is it's helping you're in my waistline because we're not having any of the enormous calories that come with the world's greatest cinnamon roll. And what is it that Aldi does to those things that they taste so ridiculously good? My wife says that they're way too sweet. And for me, they are just right. Coming ahead, I have some good news. Yeah. Yeah. There actually is some good news and some things you need to know on the prescription drug front. I've talked to you about the problems with pharmacy benefits managers. These are these organizations that employers contract with to provide a prescription benefit to their employees. And these programs, these pharmacy benefits managers, are not necessarily bad but they're definitely not 
necessarily good either because pharmacy benefits managers live by kickbacks. And so these kickbacks should not be legal, in my opinion. Uh, the very term kickback historically means something that is sinister, um, often illegal, and it, for whatever reason, the laws of the United States never anticipated this happening with the prescription drug business. But what happens is your employer contracts with a pharmacy benefits manager who then um, fills prescriptions for you and typically mail order. And about 80% of prescriptions are generic. And what these pharmacy benefits managers do is they charge you typically above market price to fill those generics. And the trade-off is that then when you get a brand name from them, you're getting a much lower price than you would get out in the marketplace on it. So it's kind of a deal with the devil that I can go fill, I tend to fill all my generic prescription, well, tend to, I do fill all my prescription meds at Costco that are generic, and then I get the brand names through the pharmacy benefits manager. The savings to me are really pretty good because what the pharmacy benefits manager charges me is much higher than what I can fill it myself. And they're living off of my money, taking extra from me, and getting the kickbacks from the pharmaceutical companies. So Blue Cross of California that insures roughly 5 million people got a lot of publicity, especially on the West Coast, not as much nationally, because they are dumping CVS's pharmacy benefits manager, Careman Caremark, because Caremark does all these kickbacks that increase the costs to the insureds through Blue, Blue Shield of California. So what they're doing is, you may remember if you're a longtime listener to our podcast, we had Mark Cuban on talking about cost plus drugs, which is his discounter for prescriptions. And they're building a big factory to manufacture. But even before and other than medicines they're manufacturing, they buy them at the lowest cost they can find in the marketplace and then just charge you a service fee for delivery and a small markup. So Blue Shield is contracting with Mark Cuban and with Amazon to provide the prescription drugs at a significantly lower cost than they are through the CVS Caremark operation. And what I love about this is it brought more publicity again to how the pharmacy benefits managers are ripping you and me off as consumers, as patients. You know, the employers don't understand this. They're busy running whatever business they're running. And they think they're doing good by you by having a prescription benefit for you. And they don't know what's going on under the hood, how these pharmacy benefits managers are ripping off the boss, they're ripping the employees off, they're ripping everybody off by charging more money and then taking all these kickbacks. So know that it is your advantage to shop what it is for those maintenance meds you take that are generics. What does it cost for you to fill it where you want to fill it? In my case, Costco. What does it cost there versus what you're paying is what you're required to pay through the pharmacy benefits manager. And hopefully at some point, somebody in Congress will care enough about you and me that they will outlaw these ridiculous kickbacks that drive the costs up to you and me for the meds we get. Grace? Uh, this question is from Gene in New York. 
I have a question about my diamond engagement ring. After having our beautiful daughter, is now too small for me, and I need to get it resized. Well, congratulations on the birth yes. of your daughter. How do you recommend finding a store that is safe to do that at? I worry about the diamond being swept up, swept out. And Sw swapped, sw yes. Swapped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm unsure how to protect myself and looking up locations to do this. We bought our um, ring online, and they don't appear to do that anymore. The company can... They don't resize. They don't resize it anymore. Yeah. All right. So it's a rare, rare problem that a jeweler that you would go to have a ring resized is going to switch out a diamond. I mean, it happens, but it's very rare. If you want real peace of mind, what you can do is you can go to a graduate gemologist who can map the stone on your ring. And when they map that stone, you will have a unique individual mapping that is for that individual stone that will show uh, the imperfections in that stone that are not visible with the naked eye. And you can do that before you go have the ring resized. And then if you have any reason to suspect that the diamond has been switched out by the jeweler during resizing. You can go back to the graduate gemologist who originally mapped it, and they'll be able to tell you, yep, stone was switched out, or no, it's the original stone. Don't worry. Suzanne in Georgia, is it smart to buy a car with 0% interest credit card, then transfer the balance to another 0% credit card when the offer ends? Well, Suzanne, we'd all love to do that, but almost no dealers will let you buy a car on a credit card. And the reason is they have to pay those merchant fees that eat up a meaningful amount of the profit that they would be making on the car. So they might have to pay uh, 2 3% for taking that card, and there's almost no dealer that will make that deal with you. If you can find one who will, sure. Peter in New York, I admire and respect the inspiration you are to all of us to save money, but I found that I've recently been burnt twice trying to do so. First, I have a Gillette Mac razor, but rather, Mac, yeah. Mac razor, excuse me. Rather than using G Gillette bl blades, I stocked up on giant pharmacy chains, dramatically cheaper knockoff blades. They served me well for years until the Mac 3 handled were off and i bought a new one to my dismay despite being an identical looking handle the pharmacy knockoffs blades would not attach to the new handle my generous wow. supply of knockoff blades are now useless and at least for the moment i have to buy expensive gillette blades also i recently cut my foot and needed a band-aid which wore the genetic brand made by the same giant pharmacy chain. The paper peeled... So we're either talking about CVS or Walgreens <laughs> yeah. here. We can just yeah. say that. Go ahead. Uh, the paper peeled off and the Band-Aid sticky parts and tiny pieces, making it useless. I love saving money just as you teach us, but how do I prevent myself from getting burned like this? Well, first of all, if you're going to buy generic Band-Aids, don't buy them at CVS or Walgreens unless you just like throwing money away. Buy your generic Band-Aids at Walmart, the Equate brand. Equate brand Band-Aids I've used. I've had no problem with them at all. And they're much cheaper than the store brand Band-Aids at Walgreens or CVS. I'm totally puzzled by this Mach 3 handle thing because that would mean Gillette is causing a problem for its existing customers who have a supply of Mach 3 blades that no longer fit the replacement handle. Uh, if you had a supply of them, you buy the new handle and they don't fit, then wouldn't it mean that even if somebody had Mach 3 older blades and put them in the new handle, they wouldn't fit either? I have not heard of this problem. I wonder, have you looked on eBay to see if anybody's selling old Mach 3 handles. I mean, it's possible, maybe. And then you wouldn't be wasting the blades you bought at CVS or Walgreens. 
So just a thought, but I'm really, uh, I'm really glad that you've been using the generic blades rather than the brand name because the Gillette blades are so incredibly, insanely expensive. Yuck. And I hope you're drying the blade after each use so that your uh, third-party Mach 3 compatible blades are lasting much, much longer than they would if you didn't dry them after each use. And I want to thank you so much for being with us today. Remember, we're here to serve you around the clock at Clark.com and ClarkDeals.com. And next week, when we open back up, we uh, Monday through Friday, we provide free one-on-one -on -one advice at the Team Clark Consumer Action Center. Open, the reason I'm saying next week, it's Friday podcast, but Monday through Friday, we provide you that free one-on-one -on -one advice, and you can see how to get it at clark.com slash CAC, and I hope your weekend is absolutely wonderful.